I'm Justin Roberts of Biz News, and with me is Afrimat CEO, Andries van Heerden. Andries, Afrimat have done a number of deals in the last few years, most recently Glenover Phosphate. Most of the acquisitions have been in the commodity space. What are the due diligence processes like when analyzing the supply and demand, i.e. the fundamentals of every, any given commodity? Uh, yes, Justin, it's, a, it's, it's quite a comprehensive process that we follow. Uh, over the years, we've developed um, a, a very nice uh, template that we use where we look at the, the entire uh, the market, the, the demand characteristics, the, the long-term pricing trends. Um, you know, we try to filter out these spikes that we, we've recently seen in the prices. Um, and then, obviously, on the operational side, we... We, we spend a lot of time understanding the operational aspects of the business, looking at the geological side, uh, right through the, the beneficiation and, and the upgradability of the mineral um, and, uh, and, and the operational cost drivers and that sort of thing. So it's a very, very comprehensive process. The latest acquisition of Glenover, what are the commodities involved here and that specific target market for those commodities? Well, the, it's, it's a very, very interesting geological formation. Um, the uh, the main uh, the main pit or the main formation is is uh, was originally mined for phosphate. There's a, there's a there's a very good quality phosphate there, and the the byproduct is actually very valuable nowadays. That's rare earths, um, plus a few other minerals uh, such as scandium and niobium and things like that. Um, and then there's a right adjacent to the pit. There's a, there's vermiculite. So the phosphates is for the agricultural industry. That's a fertilizer component. Um, the, the rare earths, as you probably know, that's a modern mineral. Uh, mostly, uh, many of those c components are used for for the manufacturing of of uh, permanent magnets, uh, which will uh, in the electrical vehicle market, for instance, be be uh, used. And then the vermiculite the is, uh, um, is is something used by the horticulture horticulture industry, but it's also used for in the construction industry for fire retardant panels and things like that. Besides the template that you spoke about when doing acquisitions, you guys are renowned for being one of the best uh, corporate actions teams on the JSE. How have you guys managed to get it more? correct often than not, especially in the commodity space, when prices are notoriously difficult to predict? I think the, uh, there's a few basic things. Um, we are not the best uh, client for, for corporate finance houses because we don't use very uh, uh, fancy models and things like that. We, we try to keep it very simple. Uh, we make sure that we, we, uh, we choose our projects very very carefully and make sure that we we are reasonably certain that we'll earn our our cash outlay back very soon after after the investment um so in other words make very very conservative uh, assumptions um and then it's about execution making sure that you get that job done as quickly as possible as efficiently as possible bank those checks early on the iron ore operations are a significant contributor to earnings. We've seen the iron ore price come off since the middle of the year quite considerably. Is this something that you're concerned about going into 2022? It's actually quite interesting that people would say that. You know, the, the fact is the iron ore price is significantly higher than what it was last year and the year before that. Uh, so we saw a bit of a spike in the middle of the year. And uh, we must be careful not to do... Uh, two point projections to take a point six months ago and a point now and say that is a trajectory. We we saw a spike. We we always said that was unnatural and it would not last. And we are back to more. Uh, we still at a very high price. I mean the, the iron ore price yesterday for the sixty two percent on the sixty two percent plats index was one hundred and eight dollars. So uh, um, it's a good price. And uh, at the, these prices, our, our mine is highly profitable. The diversification strategy becoming a multi-commodity player. Is this the thesis in layman's terms? Some commodities will do, be doing well at some points and some will be doing badly, to put it really simply. Yeah, we've always been, uh, since since we started with a, with a business 15 years ago, we've always been about diversification. We, we've diversified in, in the markets that we're in, but also... 
between markets and and we we believe that the the wider your your portfolio is diversified but within your core your your core skills uh, the more likely you are to to be able to sustain your your growth so uh, in essence yeah we 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 think the diversification model is crucial to our strategy the aggregates business i spoke to the ppc ceo the other day he said that he hasn't seen any of the uptick in the government infrastructure spend or the so called drive have you guys seen it from your side no um we we've seen a, a shift in the market the market has gone to the smaller end i think i think the cement guys will also tell you that the market has moved from bulk uh, cement uh, user, users to bag cement users which tends to be your your smaller builders and 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 smaller projects and we've seen that same same uh, thing happening in our business um so in short the government uh, infrastructure pro- uh, spend has not happened yet and what's the environment like for further acquisitions i know there's been a few over the last few years but do you see more opportunities in the market well, over the short term we need to bed the the last two down we're still busy with uh, with Gravenache our manganese mine we're still busy with the with the implementation phase of that and that's pro- that's going to keep us busy for for another year uh, Glenover has just started um, and that's also going to keep us busy so over the short term i don't see uh, a lot of uh, a- activity on that space for us but the pipeline of opportunity is is the best that i've ever seen um so it's, we we are you know we are really blessed with fantastic opportunities